Hi, my name is Anis Momin. I am from Avaya Services. I'm going to show a demo on how to set System Manager CA as a sub CA. So during the demo, we'll be seeing how to create certificate request, receiving the certificate response, setting new CA as the default CA, assigning new CA to default end entities, and generating new identity certificates for the system manager. So first we are going to check how to create certificate response. I'll be showing the demo on system manager 7137, but the procedure will be same for 8.x systems. Go to security, certificates, authority, click on CA structure and CRLs. You'll see the default system manager CA with the name as system manager CA. Now to create certificate response, click on certificate authorities. In add CA, give the name as external sub CA. Click on create. Select signing algorithm as SHA-256 with RSA. Uncheck enforce unique DN. In subject DN, provide the sub CA name. So I'm going to give as lab sub CA and then organization as Avaya and country India. Sign by select external CA. Then you need to go to path to PEM certificate chain or a single DR certificate about to sign CA. So this will be your external root CA who is going to sign our sub CA. So we need to select the root CA here and then click on make certificate request. Download the PEM file. So this is basically the certificate signing request which we have received. We need to send this certificate request to the third party certificate CA to get it signed so that we can receive the certificate response and add in the system manager. Once we receive the certificate response, we are going to see how we can add it into the system manager. Click on certificate authorities and you'll see our external sub CA is added and it will show as waiting for certificate response. Click on external sub CA, edit CA and go to the page where it says replace CA certificate using key part to certificate signed by external CA. So I'm going to select the certificate which we received from the external CA and then I'll click on receive certificate response. And you'll see now external sub CA is showing as active. Now you need to change the name of external sub CA to TM default CA. Before that we need to change the system manager CA which is TM default CA to some other name. So I'm going to change it to old TM default CA. And click on rename. Then change the external sub CA to TM default CA. And click on rename. So now I am having TM default CA as active and old TM default CA. So if I click on CA structure and CRLs, so we'll be able to see our root CA, which is system manager CA now, which is named as old TM default CA. And our new TM default CA will be our external third party CA having root CA with this common name and subordinate CA, which we had created as lab sub CA. Download both the PEM files. Now we need to change the certificate profiles, which is ID client, ID client server and ID server with our new TM default CA. So click on edit and change from old TM default CA to new TM default CA. Click on save. Same thing for ID client server and ID server. Once this is changed, then go to RA functions and click on end entity profiles. 
we have four profiles which is external CSR profile inbound outbound TLS inbound TLS and outbound TLS make sure you change the end entity profile and select TM default CA in the default CA and available CAs you need to highlight TM default CA make these changes for all the profiles Once these changes are done, then go to search and entities and search and entities with status. Click on all and search. You'll see as old TM default CA. So just select it and edit and entity. Okay, we are seeing your TM default CA. Click on save, close. Same thing for inbound outbound TLS. Make sure it is showing as TM default CA. Close. Once this is done, click on reload, and you should see our external CSR with TM default CA inbound outbound TLS with TM default CA inbound TLS and outbound TLS. Now we'll need to generate the new identity certificate for system manager using our external root CA and sub CA. So before we create the identity certificate we need to add the root CA and the sub CA into the trusted store of system manager. So go to inventory, manage elements, go to system manager select more actions manage trusted certificates and add your the root CA and the sub CA so you can verify your the subject details as lab sub CA issuer name click on commit you the subject and the issuer is same which is our root CA and click on commit here and check for each profile we have the sub CA and the root CA for example this is our sub CA and this is our root CA same thing for TM outbound TLS okay then we can check for inbound TLS PEM and then inbound TLS and click on done once this is done then we need to go on manage identity certificates for the system manager then select each service so first we'll select spirit click on replace then you have option as replace this certificate with internal CA signed certificate since we have added our third party CA so we are going to select the same option common name RSC 2048 click on commit same thing for Postgres. Data store service. Then WebLM. management we are selecting as last because as soon as you change the certificate you need to restart the JBoss service so I'm going to select replace make sure the subject alternative name has the FQDN and VFQDN of the system manager and also the common name should be the FQDN log into command line of the system manager as we need to start the JBoss service by running the command smgr stop and then again start
once JBoss is restarted then restart the system monitor service by running the command sudo system control restart system monitor you need to wait for 15 to 20 minutes for the JBoss service to come up and then log in and verify the certificates once the JBoss service is up log in to the system manager web page and verify if the certificate issuer has been changed for the identity certificates so I'll go to inventory manage elements go to system manager manage identity certificates check for management container TLS service and you'll see the issuer has been changed to lab sub CA verify the same for other services WebLM data store service Postgres service spirit now if we check the session manager and you try to install the third-party root CA will get an error showing as error while communicating to remote application so to fix this error we will need to copy the third-party root CA and the sub CA into the session manager application so I have copied my sub CA and the root CA into the session manager through WinSCP and I'm going to run the command as search tool hyphen I the root CA hyphen T hyphen S and I'm going to install for all the application I'm going to say yes So you can check that it has added to all the trust stores. Now same thing I'm going to add it for the sub CA. Hyphen I lab sub CA hyphen T hyphen S all. Yes. So it has added the sub CA as well. I'm going to restart the management service now. And I'm going to run the init DRS again. Once the DRS is complete, log in to the system manager and check the session manager trusted certificates. The page will be visible and you are not seeing that error which was showing as earlier. And you should see the root CA and the lab sub CA added into the trusted store now I can go and generate the identity certificates for the session manager so first I'm going to replace the Postgres certificate management certificate Then the spirit security module HTTPS and then security module SIP. I can verify from here and check if the issuer has been changed and it shows now lab sub CA same for others spirit management and Postgres now since the certificates have been changed we need to restart the services on session manager so login back to the command line of session manager and just run the command restart all Once all the services are up, now you can go and check on the session manager and verify if the identity certificates are still showing lab sub CA. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions and feedback 
at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avayamentor. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you.